Hi guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a reading vlog and yeah, it is currently Monday the 25th of May 2020 and yeah, we're still in the middle of quarantine. We're still dealing with this. Um, right now it is 8 11. I'm currently watching a video by Revision. It's a room tour and cleaning video because why not? And so that's how I'm going to start my day well like I've, I've been up for a little bit but I've been kind of like laying in bed not sure if I want to go back to bed or not but I guess I'm just gonna get get up um but yeah I'm gonna watch this video and then I'm gonna hopefully start doing a bunch of things for the day and I'll update you guys with what I'm reading along the way and yeah I'm actually starting a vlog on a Monday for once I can actually film throughout the whole entire week also I woke up to like a few pimples which I'm kind of upset about but I'm just gonna have to you know actually stick to my skincare routine kind of thing because sometimes I don't feel like putting on doing my whole skincare routine every night or every morning so sometimes I just don't and this is what happens. <laughs> I've also been eating chips a lot at night so that might be that but either way I'm gonna watch this video and see where the day kind of takes us. I don't have a concrete to-do list but I have things in mind that I do want to get done so. so it is Tuesday um, I don't have any reading updates specifically but yesterday was super exciting because I went to indigo and if you saw by just a little previous clip I did get a few things so they're finally open in store now and I'm just so excited um, that's just where Ontario's at with their reopening and yeah so I got Starbucks yesterday too and it was just it felt so weird being out too because I have not gone anywhere so it was a very weird experience, <laughs> but it was really nice to go back to Indigo. So these are the bookmarks that I got. I got these two little peaches. They were only a dollar, but look how cute they are. I really like them. I also got just this little bookmark too. It just said dream thicker than the sky and deeper than the ocean. And it's just this little plastic one. It was only like $2 and I just thought it was really nice. Um, the big thing was I got this and I'm so excited. Kim Cran's this deck. Uh, this is the Archetypes deck and guidebook and these are so cool these cards I'm so excited I already went through it once and I'm excited to just start using them I own two other decks by Kim Kranz and I they're my, my favorite decks so super excited about that but yeah I don't I haven't done much reading today um but I got this cool offer from Penguin Teen today that they're doing like a live show to talk about new releases on Friday so I'm excited about that that I'll be I already RSVP'd so gonna be doing that kind of excited to hear about well, I'm pretty excited to hear about some new releases so yeah. <laughs> Today is Wednesday and I watered some trees outside earlier. It is so hot outside. Uh, let me know, just random question, what is the temperature where you guys are the, when you're watching this? It's like 33 degrees outside, 33 Celsius. So let me know if it's Fahrenheit or Celsius. I mean, I could probably figure it out anyways, but yeah. Um, I really want to film something because I did my makeup and I really want to film something but I really don't know what I'm gonna film like I have a list of things that I could film but I'm just not 
vibing with any of them right now. I'm just not feeling it. Um, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna at least take some photos that I have my makeup done and then we'll see about filming something, but at least I'm filming for my vlog, so <laughs> it counts. The book that I'm currently reading is My Eyes Are Up Here by Laura Zimmerman, I believe, is, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, I'm reading this as an e-arc and it basically deals, it's a white contemporary that talks about body positivity, is like the way that it was pitched, I guess, and the way, the thing, that's what I've gotten from it so far, and that's what, yeah, so that's what it's about, but there's obviously more to it, and there's romances involved and stuff like that, and I'm just not really liking this book. I'm about 40% through. Some of the messages I'm liking so far, for sure, and there's things that I've been appreciating, but I'm still just not, it's definitely not like a four or five star read for me. Like it's definitely like a three maybe or under. So that's a little bit unfortunate. And yeah, but maybe it'll pick up. I'm only 40% through. So hopefully it will pick up, but I'm reading it on my phone. So I usually read it at night or something. And yeah, I'm going to play some video games later today and eat some pasta very soon. I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten today and it's, 3.30, so I don't have much to update you guys on at the moment, but next month there's going to be so many things. There's going to be my Stephen King buddy read, and if you guys don't know about that, I'll have all the info down below, but I have a Goodreads group for buddy reads, and I just called it like Buddy Reads with Julia Sapphire for now, uh, just in case I ever want to use it again to do another buddy read with you guys, depending on how this one goes, um, but I'm doing a buddy read for If It Bleeds by Stephen King, so it's all set up on there. Um, the start date's all up there, the breakdown is up there for like when we're going to be reading it, but we're going to be reading it throughout June, um, basically a short story a week, which is pretty reasonable, but if not, like I made sure to put on there, like if you need, like obviously if you need to take more time, go for it, but like for people who read quickly or if you get super enthralled in the book and like read a bunch of it, you could just kind of comment on the story when you're finished it, and then you can just kind of discuss it whenever, so you don't have to take like three weeks or four weeks to read it, you could take two days but you can also take the full time as well so I really like that and I hope it goes okay I already have I think 15 or 16 people in that Goodreads group and I have a lot of people who've reached out to me and said they are very interested in joining so I'm really happy about that so I hope you guys join I also have the Hannibal along that I'm co-hosting so I'll put like the graphics and stuff up on the screen but Jesse from Bow Ties and Books asked me to join in with them and I'm just super excited to do this I love Hannibal uh, if you don't know this is my design has been in my bio for like five years I one day want to get a Hannibal related tattoo from the TV series and yeah it's my it's my favorite show I've seen it I think a few times through maybe four maybe three but it's it's my favorite show and I'm really excited to rewatch it next month with everybody and see everybody's first reactions and all of that so thank you for the people that are participating or that want to join in with any of those kind of things I really appreciate it and I really hope you have a great time and I hope we love the book i really i really hope we do some people said i would be i would really like some of the short stories so i'm excited i'm excited looking forward to it so it is thursday and today i'm probably just going to be i've just been doing cleaning this morning but i'm probably also going to be editing a video maybe the one i filmed yesterday i was super anxious while filming it and i kept stuttering and messing up and i was really really frustrated but i i'm gonna look over the footage see if i you know if it's decent and then I'll edit that and put it up if it is but yeah um, I also my goal has been to upload once a week which doesn't sound like a lot to a lot of people but for me it's been it's been pretty good to upload once a week and so I'm just trying to keep on track with that I also just have one thing left to do for my online course for this week uh, all our work is usually due on Thursday so I I've done most of it I just have to do like a discussion post and stuff like that so that shouldn't be too bad but I have to get that done as well before midnight then I'm also hoping to read a bit today um, I want to make more things out of resin I can definitely show you guys right now some of the things that I've made um, I got some new molds so I've been trying to make little things and then hopefully turn them into keychains or jewelry and I'm hoping to do like a bigger revamp I guess of the shop soon and just have a lot more stock in and have a bunch of things and a lot of options because right now I think I only have two things up on the shop just because everything else sold but I'll show you guys what I've made so in here I have these little gemstones that I made that I just made with resin um, they turned out pretty cool just playing around with a new mold and I also tried out some new pigments so that some of them look really really cool 
yeah um the leaves turned out amazing i'm really happy with these the just the detail in them looks really 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 good and i also made these little gummy bears and they're super cute and they're more of a matte finish while well, these are a glossy one but they're super cute i might make them into little keychains i thought about earrings but they'd have to be smaller um but yeah i'll make them into something so i think this is just really cute so this is a little sneak peek if you haven't checked out my etsy shop um you can it's linked down below <laughs> i'm also just hoping to get about a, a little bit of reading done today of the book that i'm currently reading that i talked about yesterday um, hopefully I'll get more of that done because I just want to finish that ebook before I start anything else Like I want to finish the ebook or else I'm gonna get distracted by something else And then I'm gonna focus on the physical book. I'm reading and not my ebook. So I'm like, okay I'll just we'll just f focus on the ebook. I got other things to do right now Anyways, so focus on the ebook get that done soon. Yeah, as I mentioned I'm not really crazy about it, but I hope it gets better and there's still always like some good messages you can pick out of any book and you always learn something new obviously from reading so I'm not I'm not mad even if I don't end up liking it, you know so I actually just finished editing my video. I uploaded it, got it up, got the thumbnail done. I'm really, really happy. It's been quite a little bit into the day, but I'm really glad that I ended up doing that and getting that done. Um, it's currently three o'clock, so I need to get some other things done soon, but I might take a nap. I'm really tired, <laughs> but I'm also just watching um, books with Chloe. Uh, I love Chloe's videos so much, like all her channels, love them. The journaling channel, oof, so great the video just got up so it is talking about my reading plans and the book I'm currently reading so basically just a little bit about my current read and then some reading plans for the next little bit and books I want to get to super soon so yeah also we are so close to 20 okay and oh my god <laughs> Thank you guys so much for those who subscribe to me and support me. I appreciate you so much. Yeah. Wednesday and I just want to update you that I actually bought two books. I haven't finished reading anything but I did purchase two books and I ended up buying Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. I'm so excited because I quite enjoyed the codex and then In the Fire on High is one of my favorites so I'm really excited to read a, another work by this author. This is like the third book that she's come out with and I also wanted to support um, authors of color and things like that and this is written in verse and I'm super excited and I had to get the hardcover because Yes, talking about the outside of this book but I'm really excited to actually read this book and experience it this book is written in verse and I'm just so excited because I really love the author's previous works so yeah I'm very excited to read this one the spine's cool like it's a very cool book um I also picked up Imagine Me by Tahara Mafi I've been putting off buying this one just because these ones I had to buy like um almost full price and because I couldn't find them the hardcovers anywhere cheaper so I ended up just doing that and I didn't mind because it's um I wanted to also support people of color. So to Hera Wafi, I've been reading her books for a long time. Love her books. Um, the Shatter Me series is one that I'm not caught up on. I read Restore Me. I have to read Defy Me and Imagine Me still. And this is the finale. So this is it. I remember, I remember reading Shatter Me in elementary school and just loving it. And fangirling about it at school. Like that's just a nice memory in my head. So... I'm really looking forward to picking up this one. I also think this is one of the my favorite covers of the series. And I'll let me know what you guys think. Like, obviously, there's more important things going on in the world than us worrying about covers. But I'm just saying, it's beautiful. So, yeah, I'm very, very excited for these two books. My hair is all little curls and stuff. He just walked on all, all of them. No, buddy. Hey. 
say hi to the camera. No? No. He doesn't he doesn't give a fuck, I guess. Mwah. Mwah.